The next thing we're going to be working on uh, is actually going to be our sort of adaptive panels. And we're actually um, going to have sort of two methods sort of to do this. And I'm going to actually going to do the more safe way that's going to actually work better within Revit. And that's going to actually be using a mass family where we actually use another file. But I'm going to show you this um, adaptive panel method um, just so you'll have that in mind. And I've actually just chosen a very simple adaptive panel. I'll sort of edit it um, for simplicity. And I'll, I'll just look at that with you so you sort of see uh, what that looks like. I named it, it's called Adaptive Quad Panel 2. That's in your include. And essentially, it's a very simple surface. And it's, it's like a curtain wall. Only difference is it's more of a panel that can sort of morph to a form. And that's how we're going to be using that. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and load that into our project. And what we're going to do now is actually look at just a small subset of sort of adaptive panels that we are just going to test out. And I'll just show you sort of the sort of, you know, plus and minuses of that. Okay. And we're actually going to just do it from our assigned panels. And our goal is pretty much just with this tree, we're just going to uh, pull out from it a small set, right? So if um, sort of we have a list here, and it's of course thousands of objects, um, if we, we just want to pretty much set like maybe uh, a certain number of them, we can just go to our uh, sort of sets menu, and where we're going to be really sort of just trimming or I'm pretty much sort of picking from our tree. Um, right, and if we just go ahead and take our tree here, and what we'll do is, of course, uh, come here and do our uh, tree statistics. And so if we're just trying to take away from maybe a few of the paths, again, this is multi, multi, multi levels. And I'm just trying to do like a few of these sort of paths here. And if I say out of 1586, I just want to get a sub list from here. Uh, and I'll just take my list here. Um, and from my list item, uh, as opposed to just getting one, maybe I will be taking a particular sort of domain. Um, and I'll use series to do that, where maybe we're going from zero to 10. And so we're gonna look at our sort of sort of just maybe 10 levels of panels. <clears throat> and from that, uh, we should have a good set to take um, a particular set of paths. And our index is also going to be a base of series. And it's going to be 0 to 4. And we're fine to sort of just leave those also in there. And we're going to keep looking at uh, the Rhino sort of interface. And sort of pull that up so we're, we'll have that... Uh, sort of maximized here. I'll pull this actually back in that sort of came out. All right, so uh, <clears throat> our goal here, uh, and we're actually gonna make sure we're reloading our primary base file. This open here, I'm gonna close this one. Um, and we're gonna be looking at our base file three that we've just been looking at. Um, and actually we actually can, we can use this file. I just had like some sort of like a couple functions for just testing out here. I'm going to go ahead and hide that. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to sort of hide the model because uh, we don't really need sort of everything on. I'm trying to preview off. I uh, just need sort of preview on the elements that we're choosing. Right. And here we are sort of start to see what I'm getting here. It's actually just choosing uh, one index, but I actually need zero to four. And so this is gonna, that's what we're gonna do here. We have this uh, little set started at zero and we're going to be three. And so it says our, um, actually we're gonna do four here, uh, zero, one, two, three. And those are the indexes that I'm going through. And so the idea is I'm gonna use these paths on this particular tree and we just put this here as our, our series here. Um, and we actually can go ahead and graph that. And so what that verifies or 
pretty much establishes that'll make that we have all these panels and sort of it sort of expands out but if you look at it um, we just sort of get the information about it we'll just sort of see uh, particular sets and the idea is um, whereas it's sort of 10 we'll have to flip the matrix so it'll be in our normal sort of four point uh, mode and so we have for each one of these, these are pretty much each each a panel, right? So we have 10 panels. Okay, so that's just a, just a simple way of just getting a subset and we're gonna test out and just, I'll show you what my adaptive panels look like. Uh, unfortunately, because of the time it takes, we're actually gonna use another method. Um, but this is a method that's great to show to learn how to use uh, the Revit adaptive component. It's really for when you're using a small one. Uh, to use it sort of directly okay so this is adaptive component and when i have this here this actually will take these points we have to give it a type and i'm going to go ahead and put the type in here and also uh that there's a little bit of a challenge with curvature for this type because it doesn't get the curve it just gets the point and we're going to select it here we're going to go to our curtain panel um family and the one that we're going to use and uh, I will not include all these with the project as the only one that you really need is going to be adaptive quad panel. Um, but I'll put that type here and I'll put the data. Again, these are in trees, all in four. And so I'm going to plug that in. And so you see it's made sort of panels for that. And that actually, there is a bit of an issue here that we miss a panel. But for right now, I'm fine sort of starting with that. And we're going to go in our model. And you're starting to see what's happening here. It creates this adaptive panel. And while a few of them seem nice, um, I have experimented over the entire tower and it takes a very long time. And uh, one way to get around that is actually the second method and it's gonna be a lot more efficient. And we actually can sort of still sort of originate in such similar systems, okay?